All right, guys, so today what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at some of the different characters that can be found at Jabba's palace uh, in preparation for the incoming Jabba cell barge uh, that is coming through the HasLab program. For those of you who are not aware of that particular program, it's kind of like a crowdfunding program that HasLab or Hasbro uh, set up. And basically what it is, is uh, you would put up your money, about $500, and uh, you would receive a large-scale Jabba's cell barge, the Katana cell barge. And uh, it comes with a lot of different accessories and uh, a lot of room and spaces to put your figures and whatnot. So uh, in getting that particular uh, vehicle, I did put my money up for that vehicle. Uh, I had to uh, get prepared and uh, get the different characters that can be found in Jabba's Palace. As you can see here, I picked up some new characters, uh, some of which that I was never even aware of, uh, most of which are background characters that can be found in The Last Jedi, uh, if you look very closely. And then, of course, we also have the Max Rebo band uh, as well. Uh, and then, of course, Hasbro has already kind of given us the uh, Palace Diorama uh, with this particular set right here that I was very, very fortunate to find at Toys R Us for about $89. Uh, if you look at this thing on e eBay, uh, it's going for three, four $400 and up, uh, possibly. So, guys, let's get a look at the various characters at Jabba's Palace. The first figure for our Jabba Cell Barge, the Katina set, uh, one of the uh, figures that I picked up is going to be Rapperteen. And guys, please forgive my pronunciation on any of the names on these figures. My pronunciation is terrible when it comes to Star Wars. But we're going to get a look at this particular figure. I'm getting you guys a look at this figure. Really cool. Very awesome. He is a part of the Max Rebo band. Very cool. And on the back, we see him there. And other figures that are available in the line uh, of course this is a older line uh, of figures but really there cool he is guys really cool very awesome you can read the information there really really cool very very awesome figure our next figure is going to be Sitnik uh, so again guys forgive my pronunciation but really cool All right guys so uh, really cool information here on the back and please again feel free to read and here we have tennis spijic really cool looking figure kind of like a walrus type of figure guys getting you a closer look at him really cool very awesome it comes with a stand and weapon and uh, he is part of the return of the jedi line Really, really cool. And of course, there are some of the other figures in the line. So guys, it appears that uh, Tannis here was a former rebel spy. Uh, you can see him in the background in Jabba's palace. Uh, really cool, very awesome. And uh, if you read the information here, uh, you'll see that he uh, actually carried out some missions for the uh, rebellion, uh, was present on Yavin 4. Uh, really cool, very awesome. And uh, he is a rebel sympathizer. So really, really cool. All right, guys. And here we have Reese Yees. And again, forgive my pronunciation if I have that incorrect, guys. But really cool. Very awesome. Uh, comes with a blaster. A couple of blasters there. All right, guys. And getting you a look at the information here, if you read, uh, he was actually a plant uh, by the Empire to assassinate Jabba the Hutt. Uh, however, Princess Leia took care of the job uh, before he could uh, carry out his mission. So really cool. Very, very awesome. Uh, really cool cast of characters uh, can be found in Jabba's palace. All right, guys. And getting you a look at Umpass Stay. Really cool looking creature. He is a part of the Max Rebo band as well. Really cool looking figure. He has his instrument in the back and he can be seen in Return of the Jedi as seen right here. Very cool. This former spy turned percussionist 
uh, used to work for Jabba uh, before being placed in the band. Uh, so really, really cool and very, very awesome information on our little known characters in and around Jabba's palace. All right, guys, and getting you a look at Hermie Oldif. Uh, very cool. Love this character. Um, nasty looking guy. If you look at the face there, look at the illustration in the background there. Very cool uh, looking figure, though. Um, I like the soft material. Very, very awesome. Looks like Hermie was in charge of uh, weapons and uh, he was trying to hold down the bar and accidentally shot one of, uh, of Jabba's henchmen, uh, inadvertently helping the uh, rebels during that battle uh, at the Surlap Pick. So really, really cool. Can't awesome. wait to pop them open once the barge arrives. Now, of course, this one here is Zuckus. Uh, of course, he is very familiar, more in particular due to the Empire Strikes Back on the, during the scene with the bounty hunters. Uh, he is one of the bounty hunters that can be seen in the background. Um, but since most of the uh, bounty hunters are somewhat connected to the huts, uh, I it, it kind of included him with my this particular uh, portion of my collection. And then, of course, as you can see here, uh, his only one scene is that particular scene that I just spoke of. All right, guys, and here is Ak Rev. Really cool, very awesome. Again, a part of the band, the Max Rebo band here has his instrument behind and him. And then, of course, on the back, we get a little information on our particular character right here. Turns out he did survive the Surlac Pit. However, uh, rumor is that they actually stayed behind at the palace, and that's the reason why they survived that particular incident. All right, guys, and here we have Elephant Man. Uh, really cool. Uh, I guess kind of short for Elephant Man. I'm not sure, uh, but really, really cool. Very, very awesome looking figure. Had to pick him up. He was a fan choice figure, uh, number three. Uh, he is Jabba's head of security. All right, guys, and then getting you a look. at his information all right guys and uh right here we have our very very cool set here with our sakakis crumb and and forgive my pronunciation again guys uh aman 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 uh who is a bounty hunter uh he is the fan favorite figure number two so really really cool very awesome very glad to have him and getting you a look at the information on the figure. Very, very awesome. Very, very cool. All right, guys. And then here I have a two-piece set here of the Max Rebo band. We have Jaw Hawaza and Snai Snoodles. So very cool. Very awesome. These are from the special edition. Back of the box. Get a little information on them. Really, really cool. All right, you guys. And then we have a couple more band members. So there is quite an extensive band to the Max Rebo band here, guys. Uh, but we have Barquin Dion with the uh, Kalu, Kalu Horn. And we have Droopy McCool. And on the back of the box, guys, there they are. Really, really cool. Very, very awesome. All right, you guys. And right here we have AD8, which is really, really cool. We know who this guy is. Uh, definitely have to get me a Gronk droid uh, to put in there so he can uh, burn his feet and do the little yay, 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 that he does in the movie. But really, really cool. Very, very awesome. And of course, we can see that scene depicted right here. All right, you guys, and then to round out uh, this particular round of figures that I've uh, put together for the incoming Jabba Cell Barge, we have our Lando Calrissian in disguise. Really cool, very awesome. You're going to have the barge. Got to have Lando. Really cool. Very, very awesome. So guys, there it is. That is uh, the latest figures that I've added again for the Jabba Cell Barge, uh, which should be coming in sometime, I believe next April, uh, early next April. There are still quite a few figures that I need to get. Uh, for example, uh, some of the dancing girls that I'm gonna need to get. Uh, I don't know their names exactly, but the Twi'lek 
uh, dancing girl obviously is one figure that I'm going to need to get. And then, of course, the uh, the other one, I don't know her name, but she's uh, Big Mama. Uh, that's dancing around, kicking her feet around. I, I need to get that figure as well uh, to put this whole thing together. So there it is, guys. Uh, but please do enjoy the diorama of Jabba's Palace scene. All right, guys, and there it is. That is our diorama for Jabba's Palace and the Rancor scene. But let me know what your thoughts are in regards to the Jabba cell barge. Are you one of the few that put up your money for the initial cost through HasLab? Or are you someone who is waiting for this to hit the open market? I can tell you if you are waiting for this to hit the open market, it is going to be quite expensive. But it should be available through various vendors who did put in their order through HasLab. I can tell you here in the States, you're probably going to be looking at about $1,000 and up on the open market. I know this has been made available to our friends over in the UK through various vendors. But there it is, guys. This is my preparation for the Jabba's Barge. I still have quite a few figures to get. I have to get the Dancing Girls. Of course, we have the Twilight Girl. Uh, we also have the, uh, I call her Big Mama, uh, who's usually dancing around, kicking her legs. I have to get her. I also need to get the spider droid that we see in the initial scene as R2-D2 and C-3PO are walking in. So quite a few figures still to go before I complete my set of Jabba's Palace and Jabba's Barge. But I look greatly forward to getting everything in, guys. But let me know what your thoughts are. Put those comments down below. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys. From the Father, to the Son, to the Obi-Wan Force Ghost. May the Force be with you, always.